morning well it's morning for me welcome back to farmer's wife homestead i'm stacy if this is the first time we are meeting and today we are still full on in canuary in my home and i'm going to tackle cranberries now if you've been following for a while you know that i've been searching for cranberries for the last couple of years in new zealand and apart from a place down south that um sorry dishwasher going um down south that um can get cranberries they're frozen um because i live rurally i can't get them long story short so anyway i did find a supermarket finally in hamilton uh which is a place where i live um have them so i've got these bags of tart cranberries and I made up a, a very quick batch of cranberry sauce just before Christmas so that I could have some with um, the chicken roll that I make. I say me because I'm the only one that eats cranberry sauce in this house. Ne never to mind because I absolutely love it and we're going to ca um, can up a couple, of, um, uh, a couple of years worth of cranberries hopefully. So anyway, I do have one jar left from a Christmas time. Um, and I'm also going to make some cranberry juice um, simply because they're really good to have um, on hand you know for for your bladder and stuff like that so anyway um, we will get to canning and preserving these two items these are 450 gram bags and they cost 9.95 per bag so over the space of about a month, I, in November, December, sort of when I went in, and I grabbed six bags, so I'm left with about four and a half. I must have grabbed seven. Yeah, I know, it works out being really expensive, but it's, like I said, it's a good couple of years worth for me. And it's what I like. I know exactly what's going into this, and um, that's why I'm doing it. <laughs> So um, I'm just going to heat up some jars, you know, wash them in the dishwasher after this load's done and then we will get to um, organising these cranberries. Oh, it's so hot over here at the moment, I tell you. Right, I've got some um, jars organised for the cranberry juice and I'm just, um, these have already been um, washed and um, I've just put some hot, hot water into there just to warm them up and this is I'm only going to do pint size I think I might do four pints of the cranberry juice um, and then the rest I will do in, um, in cranberry sauce oh no I've got a fifth one here too maybe I'll do I'll do five because I can each well yeah I'll do five I'll do five um, because that will fit quite nicely in the bottom of the um, canner so I can steam can it. So I'm going to use one cup of these cranberries and probably, and they're tart cranberries so they're probably a little, they're, they're a lot, they're tiny. These are actually growing, let's see. I don't know if they're imported or they've grown in New Zealand. I'll have to do some research and find that find that out. Um, I'm probably going to add maybe a quarter of a cup of sugar. I've got my jug on the boil and um, I've seen a lot of people make it this way and the sugar just sort of sits there and it doesn't um, work into the into the boiling water so what I, I've decided to do is um, put a bit of the boiling water in the bottom of the jar along with the sugar and then stir the sugar to dissolve it a bit more I'll try that method see how we go with that I've got my deep bubbler and now I need to set up my canner on the back of the stove here um, so that I can steam can these Okay. 
my three quarts of water in the bottom. And I've got my spring form tin ring down the bottom as well to elevate it above above the um, above the water. But I have before I got the spring spring form pan, I did it, um, and the jars would be sitting in this much water, and it never it still worked really well. Okay, my dough has boiled. I'm gonna put the stove on and get this started because this will come together extremely quickly um, okay. so I've got my boiling water and I'll bring it down so you can see okay my boiling water there. right so I'm gonna take the water I'm just using plain white sugar and you can um, use as little or as much as you like um, sugar but I'm going for a quarter of a cup so hopefully this will help sort of dissolve the sugar it already is dissolving so yeah that's the trick okay is to not have the if you put the cold berries in it's not going to, um, this is a quarter cup, so I'm just going to put four of these in, roughly, roughly. Three, four, and then I'm topping it off. Just going to poke them down, probably even go three quarters of a cup, might even do three quarters of a cup. And then I need to, I forgot to get my vinegar in it. Grab my lids and in my rings, which I keep on string and then I hang them up. I'm just gonna grab those. One gold. A few of these. Right. And as always, just going to make sure that there's nothing no sugar or anything on that finger tight and into the bottom The last one and you can already see that the they're starting to go red right now we're just going to wait for that to come up to to heat and whatnot but just check my canner is all good the seals all good that's all good to go waiting for this this little nozzle to come up and then um, once this is a steady stream which um, usually it is once this comes up then I am going to steam can for the allocated length of time I'm just going to go and check my bot okay so cranberry juice is done Both quarts and pints are done for 15 minutes. Um, so, 15 minutes. Once they've processed for 15 minutes, then I will um, turn it off, wait for the little um, vent to pop all the way down, and then I give it another 10 minutes before I even think about opening the lid. And when I do, I leave it um, 
after I just a jar the lid just tiny tiny wee bit and then after another 10 minutes I then take the lid off and then take the jars out um, that's all to just try and help with siphoning and, and all that sort of stuff so um, now I'm going to just put all the cranberries um, into my preserving pan um, my AG preserving pan I've got this one here it's a six quart or a um, six litre um, they do have a bigger one now and um, wish I had that one but the six one um, is really good too so I'm going to put what I've got left um, work out how, how much cranberries there are and I am going to follow the cranberry sauce um, recipe um, in here roughly because um, I quite a actually like putting um, orange juice in my cranberry so I will be taking some of the water and using fresh orange juice well not fresh but you know like um, a really good quality orange juice um, it just gives the cranberry juice uh, cranberry sauce just a, an added extra kick all right so yeah we'll get to making the cranberry sauce I need to have a bit of a, a tidy up and um, I need to refill my sugar canister. I've got a big 25 kilo bag of sugar. Um, so I need to open that. Or should I use raw sugar? I might actually use raw sugar. Because I don't really want to be... Um, my legs been playing up so badly. I don't really want to be... Um, mucking around with opening up that big bag of sugar just yet. I might do that tomorrow. So I might just use the raw sugar that I've got available. So yeah, I've got all these jars that I bought at a one, two, three shop, and I've got these gorgeous little quilted jars, and they've got just a normal lid. Um, the lid's a little bit manky, but I've got um, lids and seals that fit this jar perfectly. So I'm going to pop them into the dishwasher and give them a good um, wash and that will also heat them up and these jars were four bucks so that's, that's pretty cheap for a jar over here we don't have jars as readily available as a, in some other countries so I brought what they had and tomorrow when I have my town day I am going to go and see if they've restocked and buy more um, I also brought some lug lid jars, these little, and they've got just a normal lug lid, so I'm going to use those as well. It's perfectly fine to use these lids. Um, some countries tell you not to, um, but over here we've been using these types of lids for decades and decades. Um, with no problems and this is a water bath recipe as well so it's not not like it's a um, pressure canned but so hopefully this is enough um, jars if not um, I might chuck another couple in here just in case I'd rather over cater than under um, I'll pop these lids in as well into the dishwasher them into my little basket. I'm going to grab another couple of jars just in case. I've got this little wee cute AG jar so I'll put that in. Let's go and hunt for some more. I found another couple of these smaller jars so I'll pop them in as well. All right that should be enough. By the time the cranberry sauce is cooked, these jars will be all hot and ready on the fast cycle. That is, I feel this, um, I can hear that the steam is about to start coming out of there. And then I can pop these lids away and um, use them for something else. We'll just have them there handy. They're quite pretty little lids.
they'll be good for storing dry dry things in. Um, are you canning anything at the moment? Are you enjoying seeing all the canuary um, recipes? Um, I've been I've been working quite a lot and I've got three more days that I'm booked up to cover um, chef's um, leave and then um, I'm going to take a break myself. I'm going to take a couple of weeks off and just try and heal this knee because I can barely walk. <laughs> so um, yeah, you can't really see it on camera but I'm, I'm, I'm limping quite badly. Um, and I can't even get into my doctor for weeks. But anyway, um, yeah, so, oh, so hot. <sighs> this is why I like canning in the uh, winter months. <laughs> so whatever I can can in the winter months, I will do it. Like I will put all my tomatoes in the freezer. I've popped all my plums into the freezer. It reminds me I've got to go and buy some more. Hmm that might have to be on tomorrow or it might have to be Thursday's agenda before the lady runs out. She's got five kilos of, no, a kilo of plums is five dollars. Yeah, so I plan on hopefully getting ten if I can. If not, that's, that's fine. I think I've actually got some still in the freezer. So I probably don't even need that much, um, but I do want to give some to um, somebody. Anyway, right, let's have a look. Let's see how many cups. This is a um, cup. And the recipe is for eight cups. Which I dare say that this is going to be way more than eight cups. Um, eight cups of cranberries. Six, seven, eight. Well, it's already filled up a lot into there. Like this. So that's about all that that's going to but so I'm going to take the rest of this bag and I'm going to keep it and then I could always make up another couple of juice if I want to um, otherwise I could go and get some more a couple more bags and make up more juice which is probably what I will do um, because I think this will be enough cranberry sauce for me to last for a long time So that's I've doubled the recipe so it says eight cups of sugar um, 
that's a lot. I think I might do six cups. Just gonna go and get my raw sugar. I don't want to overly sweet. You know what I'm going to have it and then I can always add more I can't take it away because it's an acid food it's fine for me to cut back on the sugar high acid food I should say okay so and it says four cups of water so I'm going to do some orange juice. I don't have much left, so whatever the equivalent of that is, and then I'll do the rest in water. So two cups. Yeah, two cups, I'll leave the rest. Which of course adds even more acidity. So now I just need six cups of water. Do you know what? I haven't even read the recipe. Oh, what was that? Two? Three? Four? Five? To get this on, on the heat and then just start um so the recipe actually tells you to do the sugar and the water and dissolve the sugar and, and whatnot but i've done this many many times and you can put it all in and then just um boil it down it's you're kind of making a jam in some ways so this has popped up and I'm getting a steady stream, so now I'm just going to put the timer on for 15 minutes. And that will be that. Um, okay. So that's going to do its 15 minute thing, and I need the cranberry sauce to come up to temp. And I'm just going to get off my leg for a little bit, and you'll see me again in a minute. For a second. Some people like to add um, spice to their cranberry sauce. I'm not. I'm just going to keep mine um, absolutely all natural, apart from the little bit of orange juice. But I am going to put a pinch of um, sea salt because it's good to balance something sweet with um, a bit of salt. And um, once it's you know, they start to burst and things like that, um, and it starts to boil down, um, and, and then I will check the sugar levels, and I can add a bit more if that's what I need to do. Okay, so that's beeping, so I'm just going to turn it off, and... Um, this hasn't even come up to the boil yet, the cranberry sauce, not far, but it was frozen cranberries. I wonder if I should taste the syrup water. but it's kind of sweet at the same time so it's got yeah I'm going to add one more cup it's like um, 
tart aftertaste, so that one should be good. And see how quickly this starts to come down. And this will pop down. And then I'm going to set the timer. Once this pops down, I'm going to set the timer for 10 minutes. And then we will open up. Um, I also had to pull all my onions out of the garden because my free-range chickens were eating them, eating raw onions. So they're only this size and smaller because they didn't get to continue to grow to what they needed to. Also, all those beautiful cabbages that I've got that are hearted up this big, they've eaten the entire cabbage as well. I'm so angry, but at the moment I just I can't round them up. I, I'm like, I just I, yeah I can't really move a lot with this knee. Now I'm really struggling at work, work because doing the chef's position is obviously you've got to work uh, walk a lot, but. I'm covering some leaves so I am going to do 10 minutes on my timer here and I'm going to go and put my leg up again till the next stage and I'll come back. Okay so the timer just went off. Now I'm just going to sort of open the lid and just and just a jar it and then I'm going to put the timer on for another 10 minutes. Um, still not quite up to the boil but I have turned it down so that I don't have to keep an eye on it as much but they're just starting to burst now so that's great. I'm going to get my little um, little blue mat that I like to put my canned stuff on. So yeah, I was, as I was saying about these onions, um, I need to process them and what I've decided to do, because they're all small, is just whiz them up in my Thermomix and do little um, uh, onion pucks as well. So if, I've, if I want some onion flavour in something without having chunks of onion, yeah, so and somebody actually gave me um, that idea in the comment section and she freezes hers in little um, uh, silicone moulds but I don't have those. Well I do, I've got little cupcake ones but um, I just do the little pucks. Um, so I'm going to do that with those because I thought that was a brilliant idea. Um, sorry I can't remember your name but... Um, just keep this boiling. And we'll come back in, um, in another 10 minutes. Beep, beep. Okay, so I can safely remove this now. Ooh, nice. My jar lifter. Thankfully, I've got a small kitchen, so <laughs> hobbling around isn't that big. Bad. not a lot of colour at the moment but that will come should leave it for about six weeks before you have it but I'll um that one's a little bit more colourful but because I did what I did with the um, sugar by dissolving it in some boiling water to start with there's no sugar down the bottom Oh, it's so pretty. All oh, the lids look good. Now we're just going to cool those um, for 24 hours and then I will um, take the lids, not the lids, take the rings off and give them a um, clean down if they need a clean down. In the meantime, this canna um, I, I will need for the cranberry sauce, which is boiling away. It's just... Um, they're all bursting and 
starting to render down. So I will get this um, up and ready again. I will put um, hot water, um, another three quarts of hot water, but not until the cranberry sauce is ready. But I'll show you what it looks like at the moment. So it needs a little while, yeah. So um, this has been on the simmer for, for a good couple of hours. Um, I, I honestly think that, that for that recipe it, it's just too much fluid. But anywho, um, I'm going to chuck a plate into the freezer and I'm going to start checking um, just as I do with jams to see um, what setting point it's at. So I'm going to do that now and then um, have a look at it and see how it, how it is. and popped a little bit on here and I'm just going to let it cool down. And then what I'm going to do is run my finger through it and have a look to see how I ended up um, I ended up adding two more cups of sugar. I know some of this for maybe ten more minutes. It was just about just about there. I'm going to have to reheat these jars so because it's taken so long. Okay, okay so I have got everything ready. about a quarter inch headspace. Wipe the rim. And I'm going to put that in the canner. So I got two small, two lug lids and three quilted. So it actually made a lot less than what I thought it would. So we'll see how long that lasts me. Um, but yeah, that's used all but a tiny little bit, which I'll pop into this little ceramic here. Um, it reduced down for quite some time so it's it's I mean it's like a jelly anyway it's like a jam jelly so I'm going to um, steam can those for 15 minutes and um, I'll show you the footage of them coming out but that's the finished product beautiful Thank you. 
perfect definitely think I will do some more juice though thanks for joining me today and I hope that you are having a great day and I will see you on the next one bye for now